As more businesses across Acadiana get ready to reopen after being closed because of COVID-19, there's one store in Broussard that has been open through it all, providing a little family fun while they stay home together. Amanda Hindi and her husband own the country station in Broussard. She says when she heard about businesses having to close, she wasn't sure what that would mean for their little store. If we were going to have to shut down, um, we didn't know what essential businesses were going to necessarily be. Of course, we have the gas station and the convenience store side, but with the fishing store, we weren't sure if that was going to be something that was going to be able to continue. We weren't sure if we were going to have to lay off employees, um, if the business was going to slow down. It didn't slow down. Amanda says it actually picked up and in a big way. A lot of people who um, are just looking for something to do and this is something that's easy and can be relatively inexpensive to do. So we've had again lots of families coming in for the first time. We've had old customers who had um, not been shopping with us for a while that have you know had the time to come back over here and had the time to fish. So um, those things have been really great as well. That applying to Amanda and her family as they've also stopped to enjoy the little things. What is the best part about fishing? Reeling in the fishing, going to my mom how many times I fit, catch a fish and how she doesn't catch that one at all. <laughs> so just picking on her a little bit. I think it would be nice bonding time. It's bonding time, Amanda says, that she will always be thankful for. Everyone was scared at the beginning and we still are a little bit scared. There's a lot of unknown, but we are also fortunate to still be, um, you know, here and we're fortunate to be able to be with our families and spending that quality time that we may not have had before this. As their employees continue stocking shelves and checking people out, Amanda says she will forever be grateful for the community support during these trying times.